to uh, exhibit at Phoenix Bay. I describe her work as to be very, very lifelike and very beautiful to look at. And something that inspired me about her is that how she kept on trying and also she never gave up on how she wants to do her passion. That's it. Uh, Amy Cheryl uh, is an artist who was born in uh, August 30th, uh, 1973. Uh, she made art that touched a lot of people's lives uh, and empowered them. Uh, uh, and a fact about her was she won the National Portrait, Portrait Gallery. Um. My artist is Misty Copeland. And I chose this particular artist because she opened up doors for lots of people of color, especially females. Okay. The first interesting fact is she was the first African-American woman to be promoted to principal dancer in ABT's history. The second fact is she grew up poor with a family of seven, with their mom having several failed marriages, which led to financial instability. And the third fact is, she had an unsupportive mother and had a custody battle, which faced racism plus per persecution. The, the first fact stood out to me the most because she's a hero to plenty young ladies and to many others, proving that gender or race and privileges or nothing else shouldn't stop you from achieving your dreams. I would describe her artwork by describing her natural ability, although she had a late start. Most typically, you're supposed to start like ballet earlier, because technique and stuff. You will also see pure talent and emotion when she dances that make others feel empowered and inspired. The person I chose is Henry Taylor. He's known to paint obsessively on various materials, such as an empty cigarette. Wait a minute, hold on. Three interesting facts about him is that he worked 10 years as a physiotactic technician. He was he was also born youngest of eight brothers and sisters. He's known for like art and leather painting. Art, this uh, art is supposed to describe a person with a hysteractic, like hysteractic pain, pa patience. Uh, yeah. Like that's the job he used to work at and he drew art to describe like the patients there. I chose this artist because the first art that I saw from him caught my eye. Because most of the art that I saw were black figures that had a lot of emotion in the art. Three interesting facts about my artist, in my own words. This artist, this artist does cartoons for shows. He also he also has, makes comments about his own art, like he makes a he, he makes a collab and he puts it all in one of his comments. And he got a NAACP award for his art. And he also has his own show, show on Hulu called Look. The one fact that stood out to me was the, under, the NAAC award because that means he had to, he had to have some type of volume in his art to get that type of award. I think this artist is just trying to show that black strong figures with emotion is trying to give a, a sign that a lot of like, I, I did research, you said that a lot of people when they're drawing black people or black art, black, like right here, what's that? Yeah, like famous people, uh, celebrities, they don't really show emotion, they just show their regular, they don't show their smiling. So he tries to give, he tries to give it like meaning to it. How might this artist inspire, inspire me? I think he inspired, he can inspire me by adding very loud colors to show the the happiness in people, and also I can try to draw more color people more. And that's my presentation, thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, my artist is Henry Taylor. I chose Henry Taylor because his art is different, I guess. And he uses more color in his art and draws like more famous people. And a fun fact about Taylor is he was the youngest of eight brothers and sisters. And Henry Taylor worked 10 years as a physiatric uh, technician, and the third one is he went to Oxnard College and took his art classes there while he was doing his other job. Uh, the fact that stood out more to me was the second one because he worked as something else instead of doing art, and for 10 years, 
and mostly artists um, work at a young age when they're doing art. Um, I would describe this artwork as like different and it pops out more than others and he always has a meaning in his art. Um, the one that stood out to me more was this one. <laughs> um, I like this one a lot because it's called Everything In Between and it seems like someone is screaming and in pain but it's just really a person that's sick. Um, and he always has a meaning to his art so this one stood out to me most. Oh. Hi, my name is Jotsi Yago Bianto, and today I'm going to be talking about the Otis Yinka Shonibo. So, why did I choose this, this Otis? Well, it's because, like, his oak consists of many, many figures, all statues that he puts in different positions, which interests me a bit. My favorite piece about him is titled Spacewalk, and it it's about like wait, it shows two astronauts in colorful uh, in like colorful spacesuits attached to a tether working on some stuff that's on some spacecraft that looks like it's floating in space. My the name of my artist is Brian Stealth Reads and I chose him because I like DC Comics. Uh, three facts about him. Uh, he's a he worked for every major American comic book publisher. Um, he painted more than 50 cover pages of DC, and he made his own comic in 2020 named Thomas River. The fact that stood out to me was how he drew over 50, co 50 covers because that's a large amount. Uh, I would describe his artwork as darkly shaded and very detailed. Which one's your favorite? Um, so yes, my favorite was this one. It was this one because, uh, and I would describe it as vibrant showing off the Joker in his prime as a stand-up comedian and having these guys dead laughter. And uh, I believe the impact Stealth Freeze has on viewers are creating vibrant and expressive, however, dark pieces of art to keep the readers of DC Comics alert to keep reading. And uh, I would add his vibrancy of color and his uh, realistic shading. Uh, and Wiley is, he is known for his paintings of black people in heroic poses. Um, he um, he also creates, uh, when, um, he also painted a former president, Barack Obama. I could describe this artwork by- Another being. fact is that she became an important and influential figure in the artist community. And the third fact is that her work has gone worldwide. The most interesting fact that stood out to me was that she knew that she was an artist since three years old, because I mean, what did you notice that later in life? I mean, that's really, really young. Her work is very, very influential and represents real world, real world problems. Um, the particular work that I chose was the Emancipation of Proclamation, Scene Three by Paul Walker. Um, I chose it because it some um, her work may impact the art community um, because it brings up real world problems and actually talks about history. This artist may inspire my work because it will make my work more influential and more telling. Because I really like the interesting facts and background meanings to her artwork. Three interesting facts about her is she has a famous painting called Red Purple Shoes. She's 73 and she was born in 1951. One fact that stood out to me most is number one, because I like how it's an oil painting and I want to learn the meaning behind it and what it means to her. I would describe this artist's work as meaningful, unique, and descriptive. One interesting artwork I chose is Red Buckwood Shoes, an art piece with a girl and meaningful images in the back. I think this artist might be trying to impact people with interesting and meaningful drawings to make people learn more about her. It might inspire me to make things with a secret meaning. 